Everybody, thank you so much for coming back to my channel. I definitely thank you for that. I'm going to start with Hobby Lobby uh, and move on from there. So I went to Hobby Lobby. I needed a little hook for a home um, improvement project. Um, I am changing over a baby, uh, broken baby gate um, from what um, used to have to pull it open and closed in this really complicated method. Um, and then the dog um, ate part of the gate and there went the gate. I was about to throw it away when I decided, yeah, I was going to switch it and turn it into a swinging gate. Um, and I use the baby gates to keep the dogs um, from certain areas so the cats have some peace in different parts of the house. So this is what the hook is for. This is what the gate, when it's closed, is going to hook onto um, so that it stays shut. Then while I'm Hobby Lobby, I did pick up a couple other items, of course. So uh, the... These are just randomly on a shelf where they didn't belong in the middle, right where these things were, and which was in the home decor section. So I said, well, meant to be, uh, since it was in the aisle I was in. So I picked these up for $2.49. Thought these would be cute to decorate and then turn into ephemera. Of course, I stopped by the Christmas stickers, which I didn't need, but I did limit myself. I was only allowed to pick up stickers that um, on the sale price, which was 50% off, would come close to the Dollar Tree price. So these um, all, of course, were $1.25, 50% off. And these were the ones I, I chose. Thought these were really pretty, so I got those. I like the bling of these. I thought the Santa was just a, too cute in this one, as well as too cute in this. So these are the only stickers I picked up. And yes, I know, I don't need them. Then the last thing I picked up at Hobby Lobby, I always pick up, um, go to their fabric remnants, and I don't think their remnants are a good price, but I do like their when they have the tool. Um, if it's less than a dollar, I generally pick it up. And also, um, a lot of times I'll pick up the remnants of their ribbon. Uh, they're usually just um, the perfect size for a uh, paper craft. And the great thing about them is they're usually, I only buy them when they're under a dollar. So, but this time I bought tool and the tool I purchased was this tool. And this is the tool I usually use. I don't, uh, I usually use it for packaging. Uh, so if I'm packaging up a, a gift, packaging up um, happy mail or making a gift basket. And that's what I'm doing with the tool in this case. So this starts the Dollar Tree. So this is a basket as we know that they carry all the time with the Dollar Tree. And so this is my base. And so the tool is going to go in here in a ni much nicer fashion. And then I'm add added, I thought this candle matched really well with the tool. And this is called Malibu Lagoon. And I just actually got it because it matched the tool. And it's a pretty jar too. So starting with there. And then the gift is going to somebody who has to wash their hands a lot in their profession. So I thought this would be great hand cream just to keep in the purse or a pocket, small enough, and nice hand cream. So I got two of those. And then I just got a bunch of snacks um, to go from there. So I'm just going to go through. These are all snacks you can find at the Dollar Tree because that's where I picked them up at. And I just picked up a variety because um, you know, different snacks for different moods. So these are the snacks. And then the final thing that's gonna go in this basket is not from the Dollar Tree, and it's this bracelet. So, and that's the final part of the gift uh, out here. I don't know if you can see the little tassel. Dink. Get it out of the box. And it's got a cute little tassel on it. So, that is the, what the gift is gonna be. And the um, again, the, the tool is just what's gonna be in place of, I guess, tissue paper. Um, now moving on with the Dollar Tree, I did pick up some more of these LED lights to use, not as lights, but as um, charms. Um, and this is thanks to, again, Leanna um, from It's a Deal. And you can still use the lights afterwards because once you pull them off, the, you know, the lights are still good. And you can use these on another project. Yeah. But I did pick up, and I'll show you, so the um, the fall ones here, I um, I did the picked up the acorns because not often do. Um, let me see, do I have something I can show a little better? I don't. 
this will have to be like this. So the I thought the acorns were, were, were nice and that they were cute and unique. It's not something that you see very often. Of course, this can be used either for Thanksgiving or Halloween and fall. Um, Thanksgiving, Halloween, all that could be used for those. And then I picked up a couple more of the Christmas ones that I'd skipped the last time. So I picked up the little gnomes and uh, the little cars. And um, the gnomes aren't really what uh, what I decorate with and don't really do much with the cars either. But I thought, well, I know a lot of crafty friends that like the little gnome guys, so I went ahead and picked them up. And you just either remove them or take off the backing, and then you can put, um, uh, you can turn them into charms, or you can just turn them into regular, like ephemera for your um, projects. You can do that and um, by using these bales also, thanks to Leanna for, for It's a Deal. Um, she has, she shows these all the time. She gets them from an online shop, so you definitely have to check out her channel and see where you get them from. I don't allow myself to shop online other than Amazon because I don't, I have the self-control of a gnat, as you can tell by my shopping. So this is the brand I picked up um, on Amazon, and it was, I say, six fifty or six forty nine, something like that, it, for, and it was a really small percentage off, uh, but it was, um, Hey, I'll take any percentage off I can get. And these are the the clear bales that um, you, where you can turn anything into a charm. And this is a package of 400. And so I don't know if this is actually a good price um, um, or not for, for the bales. But since I only allowed myself to shop there and I really wanted these, now this is what they look like. And so you would... And it came in a nice, little, not only the Ziploc bag, but this nice little carry case. So you would just take your item, glue this onto the back of your item, and see, it makes a nice little um, charm that you, and um, once you got it on there, and so you have yourself a little, uh, a little uh, loop that you can use for um, attaching your charm to something. And so I'm going to put these right back in the bag because I don't want to lose them. So this, and then got sidetracked for, with this item. The very last item I found at the Dollar Tree was this one. I thought this was a really good find. I looked it up on, well, Amazon to see if they sold them on, and they do, and, they're, and they were $9.99. And these were being sold at Dollar Tree for $1.25. So I do have rotary cutters, uh, a couple of them. But hey, it's always nice to have a spare, especially at the $1.25 price. So that's everything I purchased uh, in my little tiny haul here. I hope that if you see anything here that you would like to pick up, um, that you can find them at your local stores. I do thank you though for watching what I picked up and for my little haul here. Um, I'll see you in the next one. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.